guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to jump right into this video. It's a beautiful day here in Miami. It's very, very cold, which is why I am just trying to stay as warm as possible. It's my day off. Of course, I'm here with the dogs. Garrett's at work, but I do think he gets to leave a little bit early today, which is going to be nice. I think we're going to go grab lunch and hang out in just a bit. Anyways, like I said, I wanted to get right into this video. This is going to be a handbag collection video. We're very fortunate to work in the luxury retail industry and there are a few perks with that. We do shop handbags a good bit. Most of these are Fendi bags. Garrett has worked in luxury retail longer than I and um, because of that has acquired more bags over the years. So most of these are Fendi bags. There are a few that are not. Also, I'm not entirely sure of all of the names, so you'll have to forgive me. When Garrett comes home later, I'm gonna try and compile all the information that I can and put it in the description box below. Before I do anything else, thank you so much for watching. It has meant the world to me to see your likes, your comments, your subscription to my channel. It, you have no clue how much it means to me. I'm, I'm so grateful to have you here. I'm so grateful to see that people might enjoy this content. So thank you for that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you haven't liked any of the videos that you've watched and maybe enjoyed, please do that. Every single like and every single subscription really, really matters. And yeah, thanks so much. All right, so I'm gonna jump right into it. There is one bag here that I'm just gonna go ahead and grab first. So this here is a gorgeous Fendi Lou bag. This is a men's silhouette. Garrett told me that this first debuted back in spring summer 2016. It's gorgeous. It looks like it has contrast stitching, but it's actually these like beautiful little metal rivets here. It's got a top handle almost like this backpack strap as well. This might actually be one that you can convert into a backpack. It does have these D rings on the end as well. Very long zipper pulls and like these really hefty industrial zippers right here, which I love. It's an amazing looking bag. It's a great shape. Honestly, I've never carried this one. Garrett carried it for a while and used to use it a lot in New York and now just doesn't, doesn't carry it as much anymore but it's got a beautiful suede interior. It's currently stuffed with bunches of tissue and dust bags, but yeah, I love this bag. I think actually I'm probably gonna switch out the bag I'm currently using, which I'll show you in just a little bit, for this one and maybe carry this this week. It's a, it's a great little work briefcase situation. Um, again, Fendi Lou, I believe, L-U-I. I don't know if I'm saying that correct. I'm sure I'll, I'll figure that out sooner or later. Just so much little detail on this bag. I really can see myself using this. So I'll keep this out this week and maybe bring it to work. All right, the next bag that I have here is a beautiful men's peekaboo bag as well. It has this like gorgeous sunflower yellow iconic Fendi reverse on so much of the leather details on this bag. Again, beautiful stitching all the way around the silhouette of the bag. It's the iconic peekaboo shape. I believe this is part of the fit collection as well, if I'm not mistaken. The obvious most amazing part about this bag are these really cool detailed pockets in the front. So they have a zip pocket. This is a snap pocket. And I think this actually has some of, yeah, some of Garrett's business cards right here in the front. Garrett Gillespie, department manager. We love it. We love to see it. And then also this like really fun pocket here for your phone. Your phone will just slip right in and then just this pull tab goes closed over it. So you always have quick access to your phone. Super cool. It's got a long strap as well that you can carry crossbody or on the shoulder. The little iconic peekaboo opening here. And then on the inside, one large pocket, which is typical. And then a great, really big zip pocket on this side here. And a little flap as well. I pretty much carry this 
top handle. I don't like wearing anything crossbody that's really bigger than my than my frame, which I guess I could I could probably wear a bag like this because I put on a few pounds during COVID and yeah. Anyways, but yeah, I typically carry this top handle. I love carrying my peekaboo bags top handle. I think it just is it's perfect for the silhouette and it's just really, really beautiful. Again, more contrast here against the black leather with this gorgeous like sunflower Fendi yellow. Yeah, really fun, cool bag. All right, the next one that I'm gonna show you isn't really a bag, but it is one of my first luxury purchases. So I, I couldn't help but include it in this roundup of our handbags. This is a Louis Vuitton cosmetics pouch. I'm not a huge fan of Louis Vuitton canvas when it comes to like bags. I don't really own any Louis Vuitton bags. There's nothing that I personally want for my collection, except maybe a keep all for traveling. I think those are, they're timeless, they're beautiful, and, and of course the hard luggage, which is incredible. But something I really do love from Louis Vuitton are their like canvas pieces in the lifestyle goods and things like that. So this is the cosmetics pouch. I forget what size this is. It might be, it might be considered the GM size. I'm not too sure. There was a period of time when these, these were like super readily available and the price on them was incredible. I actually hunted for this for a long time and wasn't able to find it. Finally, on a trip to New York, I went into the Soho store there and asked the sales associate for it. I got put on a wait list and I was like, why, what, what happened? Why is this bag, like, why is it popular? It's a cosmetics pouch. And the sales associate actually told me that maybe just a couple weeks before that, Naomi Campbell was invited to one of the runway shows. And of course, PR sends you bags that you can use and, and what would look good for the pieces they're going to send you to wear to the show. They sent her a bag, she didn't end up liking it, and she asked her glam team if she could carry the cosmetics pouch that they showed up to do her glam with. So she carried the pouch, people were like, oh my God, that's an amazing clutch, I have to have it, and it completely sold out. I love this size, I do use it for, right now for an extra little pouch inside of the peekaboo fit I just showed you, just because like it's Garrett's bag. Sometimes I throw work pins, like chapstick, whatever, my keys loose inside the bag. And I, I wanna respect and definitely take care of our bags. And I know that this canvas can really hold up to a lot more wear and tear than the leather and the suede interior of these beautiful pieces. So that's what I do. I just throw my wallet, my keys, everything like that inside this bag. Also, that kind of makes me think, what would you guys think if I did a what's in my bag video? There, there are definitely some interesting things in here. I don't clean it out as often as I should. So maybe I'll do a what's in my bag video coming soon to see on the channel as well. But anyways, yes, the cosmetics pouch. Louis Vuitton. I love just this tiny little touch of fascetta here. It's already begun to patina beautifully. Of course, I've had it for many, many years, so it has that gorgeous honey color. I don't know if you can see it that well. I mean, there are no cracks or anything on this, so props to you, Louis Vuitton. Beautiful little piece, and of course, one of my first luxury purchases ever. All right, the next bag I'm gonna show you is this beautiful Fendi Peekaboo mini fit with Fendi Roma written in this gorgeous red and like pink leather on the front. Like always, that stitching there. I always carry this crossbody actually. It's a beautiful top handle bag, but I love the way that this kind of sits right on my rib cage when I use a shorter length on the crossbody strap. It's such a beautiful soft leather. I love this bag so, so much. There was a period of time where I was carrying this for months and months and months. Of course, the iconic peekaboo open. Here's the strap. Garrett actually had additional holes put in this because I wanted to wear it so high on my chest. When I was living in New York, I loved the look of wearing a trench and like a sweater and then having the bag kind of sitting here right in the center of your chest. I didn't love it super low. I feel like it just kind of cut my body in half. So having this a little bit higher with punching extra holes in the strap 
was a really fun look and I really enjoyed it. This bag is, it's very special. The colors I think are just really cool. And if you don't love the look of that and you just want to carry it a gray bag, you can carry it this way as well. I'm not sure the name of this color. It's kind of hard to put your finger on. It looks gray in some lightings and then other light I do pick up on like blue tones and more of a green tone as well. But super beautiful, mini iconic fit peekaboo. This is a men's peekaboo as well. I think you get the sense of what I was talking about and how a lot of these are Fendi bags. So here we are again. This is a Fendi baguette. So our first baguette that I brought up, but a Fendi baguette here in this gorgeous kind of earthy green taupey color. This is like a beautiful khaki. I love the baguette closure. It's a snap close with that beautiful Fendi yellow on the inside. It's got a zip pocket in the back. Of course, this is still stuffed with dust bags and little bags for the strap and everything like that. Let's see if I can clear it out for a second to show you. This one also comes with a belt strap. So this has a slip opening here in the back that you can actually wear this as a belt as well. Regardless, such a beautiful bag. Honestly, I would probably even carry this as a clutch. I think that's a great size. It fits so much. I was wearing this for a while as uh, my everyday bag as well. The stitching on this is a little interesting. It has more of like a gold brownish tone to it. So it's just slightly contrasted. It makes for a really fun carry as well. I'm not entirely sure on the name of the size for this here. It seems like a classic baguette size, but then again, I'm not a Finney salesperson. I just love the bags and you can never complain when they just come home to you. This is a super fun little piece. Garrett actually, I'm not sure how he acquired this, but I do know that it was like some special circumstance. This is actually a crossbody bag that was made to pay homage and likeness to the Fendi boxes. So when you purchase something at Fendi, the boxes that it comes with look something like this. This is actually done in leather. It has this like gorgeous, gorgeous detail of color. It almost looks like it was painted or like it's wood and it's leather all the way around. It flips open on the top and just opens a little bit. I love it so much. It comes with a strap as well. What a fun, unique little bag to be able to carry around. It definitely does fit my phone. So that's really cool. I think I should start reaching for this more often as, as like a little bag that I can wear quick out of the house on a walk, something like that. Again, the name on this is up in the air, but I do know that it was created to look just like the Fendi shopping boxes. All right, so this is actually something that I but myself, not a Fendi bag. I absolutely love this bag. I used it for a really long time in New York. There was a period of time where I was looking for a backpack and I was dead set on having a Prada backpack. I really liked the look of it and I, I just, I couldn't commit to a certain one and others that I had found and that were actually readily available, I didn't love as much as I had seen the ones online. So when this came along, I absolutely jumped at it. This is a Prada nylon convertible zip tote, I believe is the name of this. Such a fun, functional bag. It's definitely like a tactical look. This got me through many years of, uh, of work in New York, throwing anything and everything at this bag and it took it all. Super, super satisfied with that. It's the iconic Prada nylon. It has the little Prada triangle logo here. It has the Safiano leather trim all the way around the bag. Beautiful piping down the side as many of the re-nylon and nylon pieces do. A really hefty zipper on top. Of course, a crossbody strap. I typically wore this on my shoulder though, like I said with the men's peekaboo earlier, the I iconic fit one with a phone pocket. I don't like to really carry a bag of this size crossbody. I think it looks a little, just a little strange to me. Everyone has their own preference. I don't personally love it. So I always kept this strap short. It connects here on the sides, 
on these little D-rings, and I would just wear it shoulder, shoulder carry most of the time, or even top handle when I was feeling cute about it. It's long enough too to fit into the crook of your arm, which I really enjoyed. Like I said, it got me through many years of work in New York. It has a front pocket. I'm not sure if you can see actually, but it has a very fun like Prada detail done in the stitching. So you can see the logo there as well. It has a back zip pocket as well, which is great. In that interior middle compartment, two big side pockets, an additional zip pocket, and a flat pocket for your phone and wallet, I guess is what you could use it for. It definitely held my computer. This thing probably could use a good cleaning. The, the amount of time that it was on the subway is, is probably, it's probably scary. So yeah, Prada Nylon Convertible Zip Tote, one of my favorite functional pieces. All right, back to Fendi. This is an amazing, ginormous, men's baguette bag. This thing, I mean, it is like the entire span of my chest here. And if anyone knows me, I have broad southern farm shoulders. So that is, that is, is, it's pretty big. It's huge. I love that it doesn't necessarily look like a messenger bag though, because typically these like larger rectangle shapes are a little unappealing to me in the way that they just look like like a heartthrob is wearing it in like an early 2000s movie. Like it's a nasty messenger bag and it's like worn super low and I'm just not into it. But this is a little bit more of a rectangle than a square. I think if it was a little taller, it would look more like a classic messenger tote, but this is just a, just a really great shape. This also has the, the little slip through in the back of this bag as well, which to me kind of indicates that you can wear it as a belt bag. I'm not sure how I would do that. If I'm not mistaken, Garrett was talking about this bag with one of his friends, Michael, who's actually coming to visit us very soon. Tonight, tomorrow? Tomorrow night. So he was talking about this bag with him and he mentioned that when this was first worn on the runway, and it might, it might be this one, it might be a different one, but the bag was actually worn as a chest bag with the belt going through the slip in the back. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's correct. But one of these bags here was carried like that, which I think is quite fun. So it's like double security, really hanging onto the body tight. The strap I love most for this is this here. I love the idea of just like a shoulder carry like this. It's like, how often do you see a men's bag that you can carry on your shoulder and it's just gigantic. Oh. oh, I had no clue he was behind me. Hi, Papa. Hi. And here comes trouble. Oh my goodness, you guys. They're a mess. Hi, handsome. Oh, you hear that? King has like, like, When King gets excited, he like snorts, like he's a pug or like a Frenchie or something. So cute. Let's do a, a little close up of this little handsome. And this one too. Oh my God, Kramer's so much heavier. <gasps> Love you boys. I didn't know you were right behind me. Anyways, what I was saying about this, it's, it's not that easy to find a like shoulder bag in, in the men's world in general. So I really love this shorter strap. It's just, a, it's a fun carry and it, it has such a good squishy feel to it. It really lays up against your body well. The strap just hangs on so tight. Really fun bag. I love this bag. Definitely um, a beautiful find. Super thrilled to have it. And another part of this that I love so much that I didn't even mention yet, the interior. Like how shocking and stunning is this gorgeous red. Beautiful. The next bag I have to show you is this insanely cute mini baguette. This is actually a like chest bag or shoulder bag. You can wear it crossbody, but it's done in a gorgeous nylon. <gasps> oh my God, there's one bag in the closet. I'm gonna have to get and show you. We just got it, I totally forgot about it. But hint, hint at what it is, this is done in a gorgeous nylon. You can see it more on the back than anything. 
but it has these beautiful kind of like weft and weave stripes that you can only see when it catches the light just like that so it's really cute we actually got this believe it or not miami is lucky enough to have a fendi outlet we walked in one day and they happen to have one unit of this it's from i don't even know when but it was obviously old enough to be at the outlet i don't know if you saw what i just did but my phone fits perfectly so it's an amazing little phone carry phone pouch whatever you want to call it it has a snap here as well so you can wear this on your belt if you're wearing a belt which is like so nerdy and so cool i love that and then of course the straps here so you can wear it crossbody as well when we wear it it typically uh, will hang around here which i love as i told you earlier so it's a super easy access to just reach in here and get your phone it has a little zip pocket as well so you can carry your id your card and maybe like one or two keys tops without scratching your phone so that's very fun like i told you i just remembered we do have a new bag and i want to show you guys i'm super excited about this let me grab it Oh my god, I can't believe it. I almost forgot about this. Garrett's gonna kill me. We just got this bag. He's gonna be like, wasn't really worth the investment if you already forgot about it. But it's obviously quite big. This is definitely our biggest bag to date. You'll have to uh, forgive the feedback on the microphone because it's completely stuffed with paper. We've maybe brought it out of the bag once. Thank god. Okay, here is the tag for it. This is a what it's kind of hard to read but here are the details handle bag peekaboo fabric black sunflower and palladium hardware very very fun so this is our newest addition to the fam this thing is massive it is an extra 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 large peekaboo as you can tell i love love this detail so so much it is done in that same nylon as the mini baguette so they go really well together i wonder if there's a way that we can actually connect the two that would be very cute and very reminiscent of fendi's most recent collection where they had baguettes on baguettes on baguettes so this would just be a mini baguette on a peekaboo Sorry, I didn't want to lean back and crush the dogs. Like I said, this thing is massive. It's, it's quite heavy as well. We're definitely gonna to have to get used to that. But look how much it opens up. It even has little pockets inside. I might have to stand up, yeah. It has two mesh pockets inside for like toiletries. This is intended as a travel bag for sure. Two mesh pockets inside for toiletries, a snap flat pocket here. That would be great for a computer. A shoulder carry strap with a fun little Fendi detail there. These buckle snap closures on the side, which you can tighten to keep the bag closed a bit more. This is a really interesting side, actually. So, to the naked eye, this looks like a snap pocket here in the back, which it is and can function as, but if you unzip this here this will actually slide through your suitcase handles so if you're sitting this on the back of your luggage the handles can go straight through there and make sure that your bag never slips off your suitcase what a fun little feature i'm not entirely sure what this is for here maybe to just keep the fabric from moving around a lot but yes so beautiful new addition to our family this bag has feet it's leather on the bottom but it's gonna make a gorgeous travel bag we intended for this to be a travel bag for our trip to colorado soon we got it for that reason and we're definitely gonna be taking it on the trip it's so so beautiful i just love it so much this is everything it even has like a little bit of squish to it i could not ask for any more of an amazing christmas present to ourselves yeah definitely so all right guys so that's the end of my video those were all of our handbags 
There are plenty of little SLGs and handbags on our wish list. Hopefully that we might be able to acquire a few of them this year, but that's what we have now. I hope you enjoyed it. We're so grateful to be able to have all of these beautiful bags and we don't take it for granted. We're not people who leave them tucked up on a shelf and never use them. They're constantly being switched out. We're not too delicate on them. We love to use these bags. We know that they can handle it and they're, they're a great addition to, to our wardrobe. So very fortunate. Thank you for watching this video. It means the world to me. A few of you asked for this content and there are a few videos that you guys mentioned in the comment section via text, um, on reply to Instagram about other videos that I should do. So I really appreciate it. I will definitely do every single one of those videos that you mentioned. I can't wait to keep creating content for you guys. Last question, what do you think about this setup? I had such a discouraging morning trying to figure out the best way to film this. I hope the mirror behind me wasn't too distracting, but getting the right angle and the right lighting is always tricky. So just being completely transparent there. If you can't hear me, if the lighting's not great, let me know, I'll switch it up. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I really enjoyed making this video. I'm gonna go hang out with these puppies who keep begging for my attention. King, come here, come here. And cuddle up with them on the couch before Garrett comes home. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Many more videos coming out on Dawson's Day Off. Bye guys.